Hello future cat conquerors. Welcome to your favorite cat prep channel Apex Cat Coaching. I'm Suraj Chavla and I'm your quant trainer. So what Apex would be doing is we will be coming up with a video on each of the concepts which are mentioned in this slide only for the topic of ratios. Now I have already uploaded the ratios part one that is the basics of ratios in the previous video which is already uploaded on YouTube. If you have not seen that video you can watch this video here right and then come back to this video so that you will be able to learn the concepts in a right manner. So today we will be covering the basics of ratios part two which will be change in numerator and denominator right. So let's get started. Now. I am given a question called a plus b is to a minus b is equal to 3 is to 2. Now, in the previous class, we have that if we have a ratio that we have given, then we can directly use the ratio ke format. Mein likh sakte hai, right? So, let's try to understand that if we have a plus b is to a minus b, diya hua hai, so I can write a plus b by a minus b, and the value that we have 3 is to 2. Now, remember, this is what every other chapter may be calm aega. whenever you have an equation without a constant now what do I mean by a constant only a number separately mentioned so if you cross multiply your left hand side will be in the form of a and b and you also cross multiply your right hand side also will be in the form of a and b which means if you cross multiply you will not have a constant in this ratio now jabbi bhi hamare baas aise equations hote hain jahan pe ki constant nahi hota in that kind of equation, humko hamesha un do variables ka ratio mil jayega. We can apply this in algebra also, right? So when I cross multiply, to humko kya milega yahan pe? Humko 2a plus 2b will be on my left hand side and 3a minus 3b will be on our right hand side. Now if I transpose the values, 2a comes here. So I would write this as 3a minus 2a bringing all the a's on one side. Similarly, if I bring b to this side, I have 2b plus 3b here, right? So what do I get on my left hand side? I get 5b is equal to a. Now, if I have 5b is equal to a, the best part of this kind of equation is it does not have a constant and I can directly cross multiply and get the ratio of a is to b from here. So if I cross multiply, I get the ratio of a is to b will be equal to 5 is to 1. Always remember, since there's a 5 multiplied to b, look at the cross multiplication part. The 5 will go on the numerator. When it gets cross multiplied with b, this becomes 5b as well as 1 will be multiplied with a and I will get the value of 1a. Now, since the question is directly asking us the value of a is to b, my answer of a is to b here becomes 5 is to 1. Very simple way. Now, in this question, Let's try to understand. We are given 2a plus 3b is 24a plus 5b is equal to 31 is to 55. It's a similar question like previous one where I have an equation without a constant. That means I should be able to get the ratio of a is to b from here. Now let's try to understand. So we have 2a plus 3b divided by 4a plus 5b is given to us and this is equal to 31 is to 55. Right? Now let's cross multiply. 55 into 2 will give me 110a plus 55 into 3 will give you 165b which is equal to 31 into 4. 31 into 4 will give you 124a plus 31 into 5 will be 5 ones are 5 and 5 threes are 15 that will give you 155b. Now let's bring all the a's and b's on each of the sides of the equation here. So if I bring b's to my left hand side, I get 165b minus 155b is equal to 124a minus 110a. So what do I have on my left hand side? I have 10b and what do I have on my right hand side which is equal to 14a. Right? So from here if I want the ratio of a is to b, I repeat, if I write a by b, understand the coefficient of a is 14. So therefore a will, the 14 will come as a denominator to this just that if I cross multiply I get 14a and similarly since the coefficient of b is 10 I cross multiply here the value of 10 would come on the numerator. Now 10 by 14 is not the simplified form because we learned in the previous class that ratios must be in the most simplified form. So therefore I cancel it with 2 again so this becomes 2 5s and 2 7s. Clear? Before we proceed further I would like you to subscribe to our channel 
like this video and also share this video amongst your friends who are preparing for CAT. One more disclaimer, whenever you see a question popping up on the screen, please pause the video, solve it on your own and then come back to this video to understand the right way of solving those questions. Only in that case you are practicing these questions and remember only watching video will not make you a James Bond of these concepts. You should be in a position to quickly apply them and also get the required answers, right? So let's move to the next question here. Now the next question is also a similar question. I am given 20A plus 2B, uh, 2A plus 20 is, e is 2. 3b plus 15 is equal to 4 is to 3, right? So let's look at this here now. So if I write it in the fractional form, 2a plus 20 divided by 3b plus 15 and this is equal to 4 is to 3. Now simple funda, whenever I have an equation like this, I just cross multiply there. So when I cross multiply, I get 6a plus 60 is equal to 4 threes are, that is 12b plus 60. Now always remember, if you have plus 60 on your left hand side and if you have plus 60 on your right hand side instead of taking that to the left hand side and subtracting we can cancel both of them because plus 60 will go on my right hand side and become a minus 60 plus 60 minus 60 will give you zero so instead of transposing what you can do is if you have a plus x and plus x on both the sides of the equation you can cancel both the values of x and go ahead and calculate your answers right so therefore what do i have eventually we have 6a is equal to 12b. From here, if I want the ratio of a is to b, remember b ka coefficient 12 hai, to hum is b ko cross multiply karenge, matlab 12 aa jayega numerator mein, clear? a ka coefficient 6 hai, to 6 humara denominator ho jayega. Now, is 12 by 6 in the most simplified form? No. So therefore, we have to express ratios in the most simplified form and therefore, we cancel it with 6 and my final ratio becomes 2 is to 1. So whenever you have equations like this, even if in algebra, the easier part is convert them into ratios and then proceed with the question given to you. Right, let's move to the next one here. Now, this given to me here is a is to b is 5 is to 3. Now, we have reverse diya hua hai. Abhi humko diya hua hai, find the value of a plus b is to a minus b. Theek hai? Jabbi bhi ratio diya hua hai, the best way to understand that as we learnt in the previous question is converting ratios into actual values. Theek hai? So, abhi hum a ka value 5x lik sakte hai, if I'm multiplying x to 5, to b ka value kitna ho jayega? 3x. So, this becomes the actual value of a and b. Now, let's replace that here. So, I get 5x plus 3x that is a plus b divided by 5x minus 2x. So, abhi humko kya milega? We get 8, sorry, 5x minus 3x. So, we get 8x divided by 2x. x and x gets cancelled. Now, 8 by 2 is not in the most simplified form. So, therefore, I cancel it with 2 and my final ratio of the given question that is a plus b is to a minus b will always be 4 is to 1. Ab yaan pe hum kya shortcut apply kar sakte hai? If you observe, numerator mein power sirf 1 hai. So even if I apply the original values or the actual values, our numerator x ke format mein rahega. Thik hai? Ab denominator may be power 1 ka hi hai. Matab agar hum actual values of a and b denominator may be dalenge, to denominator bhi x ke form mein rahega and ratio matlab hum divide kar rahe. Matlab numerator bhi x ke form mein hai aur denominator bhi x ke form mein hai, which means x and x will get cancelled when I'm using a fraction. So ye aap hamesha yaad rakhna, कि अगर न्यूमरेटर के पावर सेम है और डिनोमिनेटर के पावर सेम है मतलब x का वैल्यू कैंसिल हो जाएगा अगर x का वैल्यू कैंसिल हो जाएगा तो यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस एज अ शॉर्टकट कि हमको x अप्लाई करने की जरूरत नहीं है आई कैन डायरेक्टली रिप्लेस 5 एंड 3 इन द फॉर्म ऑफ a एंड b एंड आई विल स्टिल गेट माय फाइनल आंसर प्लीज रिमेंबर वी आर अगेन गेटिंग द सेम आंसर only because x will get कैंसिल्ड लेट्स अप्लाई दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ a आई रिप्लेस 5 सो दिस बिकम्स 5 plus 3 Instead of this, I write 5 minus 3. So, we get 8 by 2, which will still be equal to 4 is to 1. So, this can be applied as a shortcut if the powers of numerator and the powers of denominator are same. Right? So, jabbi bhi agar hum visualize kar sakte ki x or x numerator denominator ka cancel ho jayega, to we can avoid this complete step and directly come down to this step and say that the ratio of a plus b is to a minus b is equal to 4 is to 1, right? Please keep this in mind. We will be applying this shortcut in the 
कमिंग क्वेश्चन आज वेल नाउ लेट्स ऑब्जर्व ए इज टू बी हमको फिर से थ्री इज टू फोर दिया हुआ है अब हमको दिया हुआ है टू ए प्लस बी स्टार्ट विजुअलाइजिंग टू ए विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स बी ऑल्सो विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स मतलब न्यूमरेटर एक्स के फॉर्मेट में होगा ठीक है ए प्लस टू बी ए बी फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स में रहेगा टू बी ऑल्सो विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स मतलब डिनोमिनेटर भी हमको एक्स के फॉर्मेट में ही मिलेगा राइट सो अगर न्यूमरेटर एक्स के फॉर्मेट में है एंड डिनोमिनेटर इज ऑल्सो इन द फॉर्मेट ऑफ एक्स वी नो दैट एक्स एंड एक्स विल गेट कैंसल्ड Let's apply it one more time and then remember the shortcut. Okay? So my actual value, if ratio of a is to b, given to me is three is to four, then the actual values become three x and four x. This is my ratio. These are my actual values. Now let's replace that. Two into a would give me two into three x plus b. That will be plus four x divided by a. That will be three x. Plus 2b that will be 2 into 4x. So 2 threes are 6x plus 4x. It gives you how much, guys? 10x divided by 3x plus 8x will give you 11x. And this is what I was trying to make you visualize that your numerator will be in the form of x, as well as your denominator also will be in the form of x, which means your x and x gets cancelled, and therefore my final ratio becomes 10 is to 11. So please remember, if x is getting cancelled, your first job is to visualize: is x getting cancelled or not? If x is getting cancelled, we can skip this step, and we can directly write two into three plus four divided by three plus two into four, which will eventually again give you the same ratio that is ten is to eleven. Clear, guys? So remember this shortcut: if the x from the numerator And x from the denominator will get cancelled. You can directly replace the values of three is to four, three and four, and eventually get your final answers there. Right? Now let's move forward here. Now two x is equal to three y is given to us. Or from here I can say x by y is equal to three is to two. I repeat. यहाँ पे coefficient of y three है तो cross multiply हो के three यहाँ पे आएगा. x का कोफिशियंट टू है तो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई होके टू यहां पे आएगा ठीक है तो अब हमारे पास क्या है अब हमारे पास x इज टू वाई जो है वो हमको दिया गया है थ्री इज टू टू ठीक है फाइव एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज टू टू एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई नाउ इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द पावर इज वन एंड वन दैट मीन न्यूमरेटर विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ के एंड हियर ऑल्सो द पावर इज वन एंड वन दैट मीन द डिनोमिनेटर ऑल्सो विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ के सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग द बेसिक मेथड सिंस The K will get cancelled. We can directly replace these and get our answers. So the shortcut form here becomes five into three plus two into two divided by two into three plus five into two. So five threes are fifteen. Fifteen plus four gives me nineteen divided by two threes are six. Six plus ten. Six plus ten will give you sixteen. So therefore, nineteen by sixteen, or nineteen is to sixteen, becomes your final ratio of five x plus two y is to two x plus five y. So remember this shortcut. Your k from the numerator is getting cancelled with the k from the denominator, which means I can directly plug in these values in the place of x and y and get our required answer. This is applicable only in these kind of ratios when I'm looking at my numerators and denominators. Right now, let's try to understand this question. Now I'm given that a plus two a plus b is to two a plus b is equal to four is to five. Coming from the first few questions, we know that if we equate these ratios, what will we get, guys? हमको a is to b का value मिलेगा. हमने already first few questions में देख लिया था. Because we are getting an equation without a constant. ठीक है? अब a is to b मिल जाएगा. यहां पे क्या दिया हुआ हमसे पूछा क्या गया है टू ए प्लस बी एंड थ्री ए प्लस बी सो एम गिवन टू ए प्लस बी एंड थ्री ए प्लस बी द न्यूमरेटर पावर्स आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वन द डिनोमिनेटर पावर्स आर आल्सो वन दैट मींस द वैल्यू ऑफ के विल गेट कैंसल फ्रॉम द न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर एंड देयरफॉर वी शुड बी एबल टू गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ टू ए प्लस बी एंड थ्री ए प्लस बी सो लेट्स क्विकली सॉल्व दिस नाउ इफ आई अप्लाई दिस आई हैव ए प्लस बी डिवाइडेड बाय 2a plus b is equal to 4 is to 5. Let's cross multiply. We get 5a plus 5b is equal to 8a plus 4b. Let's transpose the values. This will give me 5b minus 4b 
is equal to 8a minus 5a, right? Now, what will we get here? 1 into b is equal to 3 into a. Now, from here, if I want the ratio of a is to b, as I discussed earlier, if the coefficient of a is 3, I have to cross multiply. So, 3 comes in the denominator. And if the coefficient of b is 1, I have to cross multiply. So, 1 comes in the numerator. So, what do we get here? We finally get a is to b is equal to 1 is to 3. Okay? Now, a is to b hamare paas hai. The question has asked us 2a plus b and 3a plus b. So, even if we take k and 3k, we should visualize that numerator will be in the form of k as well as denominator will also be in the form of k. Matlab k cancel ho jayega. So, I can directly replace 1 and 3 here. So, my answer kya ho jayega? 2 into 1 plus 3 divided by 3 into 1 plus 3. Clear? So, 2 plus 3 gives me 5 in the numerator and 3 plus 3 gives me 6 in the denominator which means the required ratio is going to be 5 is to 6 in the given case. Right? Now, let us look at the next question. Now, I am given a is to b and I am asked a square is to b square. Now, tell me guys, should I replace 2 and 3 or should I take 2k and 3k? Now, start visualizing. That is the most important point. Even if we are taking 2k and 3k, understand the powers are same. Right? Which means, if I take a is equal to 2k and I take b is equal to 3k, let us replace it here. 2k whole square, that means a square will be equal to 4k square and b square will be equal to 9k square and now the question is asking us a square is to b square so my k square and k square will get cancelled that is the reason the concept is mentioned as change in numerator and denominator which means even if the numerator and denominators are changing we should be able to apply our concepts and get our required answer right so please remember till when the powers are same or if you are able to visualize that the value of the variable from the numerator and denominator will get cancelled. In that case, you should be able to get the ratio of the required terms by directly replacing the values. So, instead of doing this step, I could have directly written that a square by b square is as good as 2 square by 3 square, which will give me the final answer as 4 is to 9. So, my simple advice is whenever you see a question, pause. And then think, is the variable from the numerator and variable from the denominator getting cancelled? If they are getting cancelled, replace them and directly get your final values. Clear guys? Let us look at one more question. Now, a is to b is 7 is to 5. a square plus b square is to a square minus b square. Pause. Numerator mein kya hai? a square plus b square. Matlab numerator will be in the form of k square. Tick hai? Ab denominator bhi hai a square minus b square, but the denominator also will be in the form of k square. So, something k square divided by something k square, we should be able to visualize that k square and k square will get cancelled. Only because k square and k square are getting cancelled, I can replace them directly and I can write 7 square plus 5 square divided by 7 square minus 5 square, which will give you 49 plus 25 is 2. 49 minus 25. So, what is 49 plus 25? That will give me 74. 49 minus 25 will give me 24 and if I cancel by 2, this will give me 37 is to 12 becomes the final answer of this question. Clear? Now, one simple question. For the same values of this, can you please tell me what will be the ratio of a cube plus b cube divided by a square minus b square. Clear? Now, most of the students commit a mistake here, right? The mistake that they commit is they directly write 7 cube plus 5 cube divided by 7 square minus 5 square. This will be totally wrong. Now, you think why is it wrong? Clear? Now, as I told you, start visualizing Will the variable from the numerator and variable from the denominator get cancelled or not? Ab numerator mein kya diya hua hai? A cube plus B cube. So, if I take A is equal to 7K and B is equal to 5K, to mere numerator mein kya aega? 
7 k whole cube plus 5 k whole cube. That means, I am not getting into the value, the numerator will be some value and I am getting a k cube. Take it. Now, denominator mein kya pocha hai? a square minus b square, right? So, let us replace ye kya ho jayega 7 k whole square minus 5 k whole square. So, its value some number aayega multiplied with k square. So, is the value of k getting cancelled? No, the value of k is not getting cancelled. Now, this is what I wanted you to visualize whenever a question is given to you. Pause and think whether the k from the numerator is getting cancelled with the k from the denominator. In this case, k square and k gets cancelled here. So, you will have some number in the form of k divided by some number. That means, my answer is in the form of k. And do I know the value of k? I do not know the value of k. Therefore, this question may answer hamara kya ho jayega cannot be determined. So, please remember that if the numerator is in the form of k cube and the denominator is in the form of k square, your k does not get cancelled. In that case, you need not solve all this and right away showcase that your answer becomes cannot be determined. Right? Let us move to the next question. Now, this is what we have already practiced. 3 is to 4 is given as to us as the value of a is to b. a cube plus b cube is to a square plus b square. Now, you tell me what should the answer be in fraction of seconds? Exactly right, the answer becomes cannot be determined because the numerator will be in the form of k cube, the denominator will be in the form of k square, your k will remain unsolved and since we do not know the value of k, we should get the answer in fraction of seconds without solving that the answer here becomes cannot be determined. So, I repeat one last time that the powers from the numerator and the powers from the denominator should get cancelled. Clear? Let us move to the next question here. Now, I am given a is to b is 3 is to 4. I am given a square plus b square is to 2 into a into b. Now, observe a square plus b square matlab numerator mera kiske format mein hoga? k square ke format mein hoga. Now, denominator mein there is a trick here. 2 into a, a will be in the form of k, b also will be in the form of k. So, if you simplify, okay, if you simplify, your numerator is in the form of k square and denominator also will be in the form of k square. That means k square and k square will get cancelled. And what did we discuss? If k square and k square are getting cancelled, we replace a and b as 3 and 4 and get our required answer. So, therefore, our answer here becomes 3 square plus 4 square divided by 2 into 3 into 4. So, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16 and this gives me 24 and 9 plus 16 is 25 and therefore our answer becomes 25 is to 24. Clear? So, this is how we start adapting ourselves to the changes in numerator and the changes in denominator. Right? Let us look at one last beautiful question in the form of word problems and then we will wind up this section. Right? Now, I am given two natural numbers are in the ratio of 4 is to 7. So, if the ratio is 4 is to 7, the actual values are going to be 4k and 7k. Now, what least positive number should be added to each number so that the resultant number should be in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Now, the resultant number should be in the ratio of 2 is to 3. This should be your ideal approach. Now, what least natural number should be added to each one of them, which means I am adding the same number. Let me assume that number is x. Okay. So, I am doing what here? I am adding x here and I am also adding x here which means now the ratio should be 2 is to 3. Let us cross multiply. When I cross multiply what do I get here guys? So, we get 12k plus 3x is equal to 14k plus 2x. Now, if I transpose I get the value of x is equal to 2k. Now, we go to question. Question kya pooch raha hai x should be least. First condition. Second condition kya hai? 4k and 7k should be natural numbers. If x has to be least, that means can I say k also has to be least? Now, which smallest value of k will give me 4k and 7k as natural numbers? The smallest value of k would be 1 here. So, only if I take 4 into 1 and 7 into 1, I will get them as natural numbers. That means the value of smallest possible value of k is equal to 1. 
and therefore if I replace k is equal to 1 here I get the smallest possible value of x is equal to 2 so therefore 2 is the least number that should be added to each one of them so that the ratio becomes 2 is to 3 clear guys so that's it from this session on change of numerator and denominator right so I repeat guys what we will be doing is we will be giving you enough material only on ratios now all you can do is pause the video solve on your own and if you're solving roughly four to five hours of contents on ratios there's no way that i see that you cannot be good at ratios altogether so please stay tuned with us subscribe our channel like this video and also share this video amongst your friends also do not forget to give a feedback in the comments column as to how did you find this video and if you find there are some areas of improvement. So stay tuned with us for the next video. Till then, all the best and take care.